Bless the Lord. Thanks. Welcome to today's seed time and how we broadcast. It's such a privilege and an honor to have another opportunity to come and speak life, hope, and inspiration to you. Today we want to talk about being more than a conqueror. Being more than a conqueror. And we're going to be looking at some of the texts from the book of Romans, chapter 8, verse 31. And I want to really key in on two particular verses of Scripture. And that is verse number 38 and 39, which reads, For I am convinced that neither death nor life, neither angels nor demons, nor the present, nor the future, nor any powers, neither height nor depth, nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus, our Lord. Hallelujah. This is what the Apostle Paul came to as his conclusion as he talked about and thought about all the different trials, tribulations, setbacks, setups, and obstacles that are placed in our path as we follow Jesus Christ by faith. Paul says, I am convinced that there's nothing and no one that can separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus our Lord. And this is what makes us more than conquerors, is this belief, this unfailing belief and faith in Jesus Christ. So let's back up a little bit to verse number 31. In most Bibles, you'll see that the sections are separated into um, different breakdowns and this particular section is broken down into the section that says more than conquer us now the verses that i read to you were the last two verses of this subsection so let's begin at verse 31 when paul began by asking a question to the roman believers and the holy spirit may be asking you the same thing if you feel like you're being pressed and distressed and oppressed and maybe even feeling depressed this is what Paul says to the Roman church, and this is what the Holy Spirit asks us. What then can we say in response to these things? If God is for us, who can be against us? He who did not spare his own son, but gave him up for us all, how will he not also, along with him, give us all things? Who will bring any charge against those whom God has chosen? It is God who justifies. Who then is the one who condemns? No one. Christ Jesus who died, and more than that, who was raised to life, is at the right hand of God and is also interceding for us. Who shall separate us from the love of Christ shall trouble or hardship, or persecution, or famine, or nakedness, or danger, or sword? As it is written, for your sake we face death all day long. We are considered as sheep to be slaughtered. No, in all these things we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. Thanks to God, we see that the Apostle Paul describes some of the situations and circumstances that may present itself against us as believers. There's some things that people need to understand that a life with Christ is not a life without challenges. It is not a life without sometimes struggle. It is not a life that is carefree and trouble free. But Paul says, in spite of whatever troubles we have, and he described some of the different situations that may come against us. He talked about, is there any trouble or hardship or persecution or famine or nakedness or danger or sword? Hallelujah. And he goes on in our scriptures that we began with in verse 38. He says, for I am convinced, and I want you to be convinced today, children of God, for we serve the same God. We have faith in the same Jesus of which Paul is speaking to the Roman church about today. 
So again, in verse 37, he says, No, in all these things we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. For I am convinced that neither death nor life, neither angels nor demons, neither the present nor the future, nor any powers, neither any height nor depth, nor anything else in all of creation will be able to separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Nothing can separate us from his love, saints, because we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. Past tense. Jesus has already sacrificed his life for us. He's already rose again to, re to redeem us from sin and death and any other power that's in this earth. This is why we can boldly and confidently say that we are more than conquerors. So I want you to think about situations that may be coming against you. Whatever trouble, whatever hardship, whatever persecution. If you're facing famine, nakedness, or danger, or the sword. No matter if it's a demonic attack, whether it's death, whether it's demons, things present or things you're concerned about in the future or any other power that comes against you. No matter how high or low it may seem. Anything that's in creation, Paul tells the Roman believers, none of those things will be able to separate us from the love of God that is found in Christ Jesus our Lord. And this is what makes us more than conquerors whenever we face these type of situations. We are more than conquerors because we already know that Christ has loved us. He loved us enough to obey the Father to, by sacrificing his life on the cross. And a lot of times, sometimes we say, and I'll try to correct our thinking when I say this, is that, the, that the Romans killed Jesus. No, Jesus laid down his life for us. He sacrificed his life for us. You remember when he was on the cross, he said, I could have called on my father and my father would have sent a whole legion of angels to rescue me. But Jesus knew that wouldn't set us free if he, if he was rescued from the cross. He knew without the shedding of his blood, without his sacrificial death, there would be no atonement for our sin. And this is why we realize that now we are more than conquerors through him who loved us enough to sacrifice himself. Hallelujah, saints of God. So no matter what you may be facing in life today, no matter what you may have faced in life, no matter what you may face in the future, Paul says to the Roman believers and the Holy Spirit says to us today, for I am convinced that neither death nor life, neither angels nor demons, neither the present nor the future, nor any powers, neither any height or depth, nor anything else in all of creation will be able to separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Thanks to God, let this be your clarion call when you face difficulties in life. When you're facing challenges, when you pressed, realize that you are more than a conqueror through him who loved us. And acknowledge the presence and the power of God over your life and over your situations and over your circumstances. And rest in him, realizing that none of these things will be able to separate you from the love, the care, the concern, the protection, the provision that is found in Christ Jesus, our Lord. We are more than conquerors. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you. We bless you and praise you on this marvelous day. We thank you for the power of your word. We thank you for the sacrificial death of Jesus. We thank you for the empowerment we have over life, circumstances, and situations. We thank you that we have victory and power over things present and things to come. 
over angels and demons, over death or life, or any other thing that comes against us. We realize, Father, there's no trouble, there's no hardship, there's no persecution, there's no danger that will be able to separate us from the love because we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name. Amen. You've been listening to Seed Time and Harvest with Bishop Lyndon Hutcherson of Amazing Grace Ministries. We were blessed that you tuned in to today's message and look forward to connecting with you in person or on future podcasts. Feel free to reach out to us for more information about our ministries by visiting our website, Amazing Grace Ministries, at www.agministries.net.